Hi there! So you're here to learn about artillery? Well, so am I. Nah, just kidding. If you want to learn how to obliterate the enemy infantry from all the way across the map, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll not only teach you the basics of using the artillery, but also the single most important part of playing artillery, which is knowing where to shoot. All that you can think of, from how to operate the guns, to landing your shots and locating your targets, I will go through absolutely everything and by the time you're done with this video I can personally guarantee that the bar at the bottom of the video is going to be more red than gray. Alright, let's get started. But first I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Cedup who's been extremely supportive and a big help making all of these videos. Cedup is really active in the competitive scene and he's probably one of the best players out there, especially in terms of knowledge of the game and tactics. So big thanks, man. All right, now let's get started. There are three artillery guns per side and they are located at the center spawn point at the edge of the map for each team. Some maps have no artillery on your side or on either side, however, so you can always check your map for this before you spawn and start running around aimlessly. Artillery cannons have two positions, the gunner and the loader. Both positions can rotate the artillery and you will need to rotate the gun from both positions to reach some spots on the map. As a loader, you can choose to use HE shells or smoke rounds, which you will need to manually load before firing by pressing R. HE rounds consume 3 munitions while smoke consumes 5. If you're wondering what munitions are, then check out my beginner's guide to hell at loose because you pretty much need to know that if you want to go artillery. You can shoot the artillery perfectly fine on your own and it's arguably a waste of resources to have two guys manning the same artillery since you just get a marginally better fire rate than switching positions back and forth entirely on your own. Provided there are enough munitions it's actually probably better to man two separate guns then have two guys operate just one. To load and fire as fast as possible, switch back to the loader position as soon as you fire, press R, and then start switching back as soon as the loading bar gets around the icon for the ammunition type. As soon as you finish loading, if you do this, you'll already be in the gunner position. As I mentioned before, both the gunner and loader can rotate the gun left and right by using the A and D keys, but only the gunner can control the elevation by pressing W and S. The angle you tilt the gun at will determine its range, and you can see its precise value by checking out this number right here. Now, in order to land your shots where you want on the map, you need to do something very simple. Just download the HLL Artillery Calculator app on your phone or go to any of these pages where you can convert a distance on the map to the exact angle that you need to put the artillery at. But first, you need a way of knowing the distance to your shot. The way you do this is the following. You either use an existing marker on the map or you place your own by creating a locked infantry unit. Then open the map, right click, and you're done. You can view the distance right there on the map by just hovering over the mark or you can toggle these marks on and off on your HUD by pressing T. Use this to center the line on the gunner position on that mark. Now all you need to do is input the distance in the calculator app to figure out the angle you need to shoot at and you're ready to go. There's also a table on the left that you can use to guesstimate your shots but you 100% want to use something like this app because it's just faster and way more accurate. If you're going to really commit to playing Azardi, you'll want to play as squad leader since you'll hear the command chat and see everyone's markings on the map as well as the marks from recon planes. So just, you know, create a locked infantry unit and go artillery. You'll also be able to communicate with squad leaders and let them know when you're firing and where so they don't accidentally run into your shots. Okay, so now you know how to shoot, but there's still plenty more that you need to know and consider when playing Artie. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you'll have plenty of munitions, and that means building munitions nodes. I haven't seen 
any other guides mention this and to me this is like the first step an artillery user needs to do. After all, if nobody builds the nodes, you simply won't be able to shoot your artillery for too long. So you need to build nodes. You can do this by either teaming up in an existing squad or creating your own. What you want to do is get as deep into enemy territory as possible with an engineer and a supply guy since nodes generate progressively more resources with each grid square of separation from the base. You can build at least one node on your own by dropping supplies and then going engineer, but you might as well try and get an engineer to, you know, work with your supplies. Just ask him to place a munitions node if you can provide him with the supplies. It's better to have a bad node than have no nodes, so you know, you could try that out. Once the nodes are up, you can check how many munitions are being generated per minute by checking the map and looking at the top left. You can also check how much each node is generating by hovering your mouse over them. Once you have some nodes down, you can head back to the artillery and start firing. However, you need to respect the requests of the commander or other squad leaders. If the commander asks you to stop firing because he needs the munitions for something else, please listen to him. As a general rule, you don't want to go below 250 munitions since less than that will start impacting on your commander's ability to do stuff. So, nodes are down and you know how to mark the map and range your shots. Well, now let's get down to the single most important part of the guide, knowing where to shoot. First and foremost, it's very obvious to just check the map for infantry marks or an actual requesting artillery mark, but those markings might be outdated or sometimes you get commanders and squad leaders that just aren't very good, so you need to learn to read the map on your own. Shoot at any and all marks for garrisons and outposts, but make sure to ask the squad leader that placed them whether or not they are accurate. Take note of the houses, roads or trenches that are both near a point or at the edge of the red and blue sector divide. These are all probable garrison or outpost locations so you might try taking a couple of shots when idle and see what happens. Smackdown right in the middle of a strong point is also a good guess to play some RT rounds, especially if your infantry wants to make a push on the point. However, you need to be acutely aware of the fact that artillery rounds take around 20 seconds to land. So whenever you fire, you need to wait for 20 seconds for whatever is going to happen when that shot lands. That means you need to account for the fact that your infantry might be able to reach the point you just shot within those 20 seconds. So just be extremely careful. You are bound to do some TKing with the RD, it's fine, you know, but just look out for it. Next thing you want to be on the lookout for is which way your guys are pointing at. You can often take a really good guess at where the enemy is by looking at where your troops are facing. Just see where the little arrows converge and mark that as a spot to fire upon. There are a lot of different cues like this that you can take from the map to be able to figure out where the enemy is. Look at where the dots are disappearing, look at where they move and where they stay still. All this is information that you need to use to learn where the enemy might be located. One last tip is to shoot a couple of rounds on the enemy side of the middle point at the start of a match. Just use your own infantry as reference of how far along the enemy might be on the map and just drop a couple of shots on the path that the enemy is most likely to take towards the objective. Okay, now that you have a fairly decent idea of where you want to land your shots and you know how to fire accurately, let's talk about the fine art of artillery fire. Don't just fire all your shots at the exact same spot over and over. While there is some randomness to where the shot lands, dial one degree up or down, shoot again, then maybe rotate the gun just a tiny bit to the left, fire again and repeat. You want to cover a general area around your RD mark without deviating way too much from it. This ensures that you carpet the area with blasts, which, you know, given how large the explosions are, it's better than just hitting the same spot over and over. 
You can add references like the observe mark, infantry mark, artillery mark and a bunch of others to help you measure several distances at once and ensure that you're firing within a certain area. Whenever you hit an enemy, you'll hear a sound like sort of like a coin, which as long as you keep hearing that, keep shooting that same area. You can also press tab and see if your score goes up if you're unsure if you're landing your shots. As long as you keep hitting the enemy, just keep shooting. But always check the available munitions since if the enemy happens to take down your notes, you will very quickly deplete the munitions by firing like a maniac. My advice if this happens is go get those nodes back up because you know you need them to keep firing the artillery. Alright guys, that will be all for now. Hopefully this will help you improve your artillery game by quite a bit. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on Hella Loose in this same channel. And if you enjoy them as well, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.